This is a song I wrote for Snook Moore. This is the modern day homesteader. Soaked in oil from working on them rakes. He's still wearing worn out boots and patched up homemade clothes. Punching cattle, growing hay, and reaping what he sows. His friends bought him a cell phone, but he's never made a call. When it rings, he hollers, telephone, and looks over at the wall. There's buttons, lights, and buzzers, and a fear in his eyes. Cause he never understood how a voice moves through the sky. He's a modern day homesteader living in a Walmart world. His neighbors cook with microwaves, but he's still burning wood. He hunts, he tramps, he works the land he moved up on years ago. And he's never joined the rat race, cause his horses are too slow. He has driven the same truck now for over 40 years. But he tends to harness up the team if he's turning any gears. And if he has some news to tell or an itch to spin a yarn, he'd rather take his saddler and park it in the barn. He likes his plumbing outside with his outhouse and a creek. He had a light plant once, but it lasted just a week. Cause he don't savvy gasoline or engines with a wine. He's never had high voltage. But he seems to do just fine. He looks around his land at the logs that he had stacked, at the posts that he had pounded and had sharpened with his axe, at the sagebrush creeping back into the fields he grubbed by hand, and the washed out ditches he had dug to irrigate his land. Every notch in every cabin that was scattered on that land And every piece of furniture was hewn by his hands The neighbors talk about him, think the place looks too run down But he never knows or cares about it cause he never goes to town He's a modern day homesteader, he never made the switch his neighbors all bought tractors, he still drives his four horses. He hunts, he traps, he works the land he moved up on years ago. And he's never joined the rats, cause his horses are too slow. But up there in the mountains, the weather it is rough. The years have taken their toll upon him and getting around is tough. So the young now gather round him to hear the tales he tells of a way of life forgotten and the one he knows so well. This way of life forgotten is the one he knows so well.